Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the language of candlesticks. So the price of an instrument or stock comprises of four values which is shown in a candlestick and those values are open, high, low and close values. In case of a green candle, the open is usually at a lower price and close is usually at a higher price and the price between the open and close is shown as a body whereas the price reaches to a very high value and it also goes to a low value but the price did not sustain there those are called as the wicks similar is the case of a red candle where the open is at a higher level but the close is at a lower level the regions where the price did not sustain result in the production of thin wicks and the price within which it sustains is shown as the body. By understanding the ranges of these four values in a candlestick, one can predict the strength of a buyer or a seller which determines the future movements of the market which is called as price action. And price action is usually the first type of indicator or is the most supreme type of study one can do for predicting the future course of the markets. Presence of strong buyers and strong sellers. By looking at the candlesticks, we can predict whether the strong buyers or strong sellers are present at a certain point of time. Strong buyers, also called the bulls, produce bullish Maru Boju candles with small or no wicks and a big body. The strong sellers, also called the bears, they produce bearish Maru Boju candles with small or no wicks and a big body. Here you can see the examples of bullish and very smaru boju candles. Strong fight between buyers and sellers produces small bodied doji candles with the long wicks. A doji candle shows indecisiveness in the market. Some common and powerful candlestick patterns where we are discussing about single candlestick patterns are discussed here. First type is the hammer. So hammer indicates strong buying pressure and it is best if it is formed in a downtrend at the bottom of the candlestick chart. It works well when formed at the support levels. The support may be horizontal levels or moving averages or round numbers, say for example 40,000 in Nifty Bank. Next is the shooting star. A shooting star indicates strong selling pressure. It is best if it is formed during an uptrend. It works well when formed at the resistance levels. Here we can see this is a resistance level and a shooting star indicates initiation of a strong downtrend. The resistance levels may be horizontal levels or moving averages or round numbers, for example, 40,000, 40,500, etc. for Nifty Bank. Next are the doji candles. A doji candle indicates indecisiveness and it indicates that it is time to be careful. It may be a reversal point and therefore we should be very careful whenever a doji candle is formed. It indicates strong fight between the buyers and the sellers. It is very significant if it is formed at support, resistance, or round number levels. Say, so for example, 41,000 in Nifty Bank. There are different types of doji candlestick patterns. The very common are Dragonfly doji, Gravestone doji, and Long Leg doji. <coughs> By understanding the various candlestick types and their formation at significant levels, it is possible to predict future market movements 
and become a net profitable trader. So these are some of the common types of candlestick patterns, but very important types of candlestick patterns. If we can see and observe such candlestick patterns, then we can act according to the position of the candlestick patterns and we can in improve our trading skills. Please do like and subscribe to our channel if you have liked the content. Thank you for watching.